Hi guys, in this video, we'll be talking about how do organisms grow and develop, what is cell differentiation, and finally, a summary. So all organisms grow. This includes humans. After birth, humans grow from being babies into adults. Plants also grow. If you think about trees, they start from a small shoot and they can grow into huge branching structures. But what is growth and how do organisms grow and develop? Well, growth is when a cell increases in size and mass. So this cell can become bigger and have a greater mass. Plants and animals can grow and develop through two main ways, cell division and cell differentiation. I'll be talking about these in this video. So cell division occurs by mitosis. This is when body cells divide to produce two daughter cells that are genetically identical to the parent cell. In mature cells in animals, cell division is restricted to growth and repair. So in animals, all growth is by cell division and animals tend to grow quickly when they're young and then reach full growth and they stop growing. So when you're young, cell division is at much greater rate, but once you're an adult, mostly cell division is for repair. In mature animals, cell division is mostly to replace old or damaged cells. Cell differentiation is when a cell becomes specialised in its job. And I'll talk more about what this means a bit later in the video. But cell division normally happens during development. This is lost at an early stage. In embryos, embryonic stem cells can differentiate to produce all types of cells. However, in adult stem cells, they're restricted to differentiate into only a few cells. Unlike animal cells, plant cells are able to differentiate for most of their lives. This is because plants often grow continuously, such as making new branches. This means that plants have to differentiate to produce new parts, such as leaves and stems. Cell division in plants mostly takes place through elongation. This is how they grow. This is how they grow in height. You can see a plant cell elongating here. Elongation is when a plant cell expands, causing growth in the height of a plant. Plants can also grow through cell division, but this is restricted to the tips of the roots and the shoots in plants, in areas called the meristems. So I mentioned cell differentiation briefly before, but what does it mean and why is it important? Well, specialised cells mean that different cells can carry out different jobs. For example, sperm cells are specialised for reproduction and red blood cells are specialised for the transport of oxygen. As each cell has its own job, this makes a whole organism more efficient. For example, cells can differentiate to become egg and sperm cells. So this is a sperm cell and this is an egg cell. So what happens when they differentiate and become specialised is that they obtain subcellular structures that allow it to carry out their jobs. And this is specialisation. So this means the egg and sperm can now carry out fertilisation. For example, the sperm has a special subcellular structure called an acrosome. This contains digestive enzymes to get access to the egg so the egg can be fertilised. Specialised cells are so specialised that they can only carry out one job. So cells specialise from things called stem cells. And these differentiate into specialised cells. For example, this stem cell has differentiated into a red blood cell. And the function of the red blood cell is to carry oxygen around the body. It's specialised for only one job. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing GCC biology and combined science resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.